Hi and welcome to Matt's Music Charity Shop Hall Edition Episode 2. I've been out, the sun is shining, and I've come back with um, oh, <laughs> what one or two one or two things. <laughs> so I thought I'd run through uh, what I managed to find this morning. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited by some of it. I'm mystified by other bits of it and don't know what to make of some of it. So uh, we should go through it together. Uh, right. So first of all, we have the Dandy Warhols, 13 Tales from Urban Bohemia. Um, I don't know very much about this other than I had a Dandy Warhols cassette single in the 90s uh, and it was called Every Day Should Be a Holiday, I think. Um, and I, I thought that was very good. Um, I've never, I've never seen, I've never seen an album by them or heard an album by them. It was the only time I'd ever seen or heard anything of them. So the Danny Warhols, very happy to have that and check that out. I don't know if that's, is this the album with that in it? When did this come out? Let's have a look. Uh, does it say it appears to be missing its back cover, which some of these are in charity shops. Uh, it doesn't actually say. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Bohemian Light Year, I think that was on there. Maybe that was the single, and and every day should be a holiday was the B-side, maybe? Anyway, there we go, Dandy Warhols, so I shall check this out and I'll be very pleased with it. Uh, next up, we've got Sting, Mercury Falling. Uh, yeah, I love Sting, love the police. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm building up slowly a collection of his albums. This one looks to be a little bit of a later one. Uh, 1996, so yeah, sort of mid, mid period Sting, I suppose, late to mid period Sting. Uh, but yeah, really interesting. Um, he's, a, he's a very interesting, the way he, the way he writes his music and composes his music is 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 worth um, looking at. He, a lot of it, like you wouldn't necessarily hear it in the music, but the the sort of way he puts things together, um, it, he's very classically influenced. Um, and uh, yeah, if you go, go to Rick Beato's channel with his amazing interview with Sting, he breaks down all the things that inspired him and how he thinks about creating music. It's really really quite an interesting insight into the way that uh, Mr. Sting's mind works. Um, so very uh, happy to get that. Uh, next up, we've got UB40, Guns in the Ghetto. Um, again, I love UB40. I don't have very much of it. I've got a um, sort of compilation, like a best of. This one's a little bit later, 1997. Uh, but yeah, opening up my account with some uh, you know, UB40, uh, like a natural studio album, uh, very happy to find that. Uh, next up, we've got the Tamla Motown Gold uh, compilation. Uh, this one I owned, uh, you know, in, it was part of my original collection in the, I guess, 90s. Um, and I bought it in HMV when it came out. And uh, yeah, sadly, it was one of those ones that got burnt onto a hard drive and then the CD got given away with everything else. Um, and so finding this for one and a half English pounds in the charity shop um, delighted me no end. So I picked up that. Because uh, it's got some great stuff on there. Uh, Smokey Robinson and the Miracles, uh, Barrett Strong, Diana Ross and the Supremes, The Temptations, Brenda Halloway, Martha Reeves and the Vandellas. Um, I mean, everybody you'd expect, really, the Four Tops, the Isley Brothers, Stevie Wonder. Um, yeah, Gladys Knight and the Pips. Um, so, yeah, the Marvelettes. I mean, it's, it's who you'd expect. It's who you'd expect, and it's all in one nice lump. And it, this, this, it was, I remember it being a nice little box set when it came out. And this one's in lovely condition, so really pleased to get that. Uh, this one I'm super excited about, uh, Paul McCartney Unplugged, um, the official bootleg. Uh, so yeah, I don't have this one of, of his, and uh, so really pleased to find that in a charity shop for a pound. Absolutely delighted. Um, I think this was quite an early CD. It looks to be an 80s sort of one, possibly. Uh, anyway, it's 1991. Uh, so yeah, really happy with that. Paul McCartney uh, Unplugged. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Snoop Dogg, Doggy Style. Um, I do actually have this um, somewhere down here. Um, where is he? Snoop Dogg. Can I find him while I'm looking behind me? Don't know. But anyway, he's up there somewhere. But I thought, you know, for, for a quid, I'll pick up another copy of it. Um, yeah, just in case I lose uh, my first one or do anything happens to it. It's spare of um, Snoop Dogg. Uh, doggy Style is always, uh, always worth having in your back pocket. Uh, right, so next up we've got some some, some nerd. Um, yeah, don't know this particular album. I know so, some of their stuff. This was sort of 2002. Um, there's some good tracks I remember at the time. Uh, there's um, Truth or Dare with Kellis is on that one. Uh, Malice is on uh, Am I High. Uh, yeah, they did um, they did some good stuff. There, there's some banging tunes back in the day. Um, I had, I think, one of their singles when this came out. Can't remember which one it was, but nice to find that. Uh, yeah, nerd, 
uh, happy to uh, add that to my collection. Uh, next up, we have got uh, doo -doo -doo, the Neptunes uh, present clones. So yeah, again, uh, similar similar stable. Um, didn't have this one, but yeah, it's got it's got everybody on it really. Got Buster Rhymes, Ludacris, Pharrell, uh, Nelly, Snoop. Um, yeah, Nerd is on there. Uh, Nore is on there. Dirt McGrick, Kellis. Um, so yeah, similar. I suspect they were de donated potentially by the same by the same person. Maybe even the Snoop Dogg. Maybe there's a hip hop fan that came in and uh, got rid of all their stuff, um, and I found it, so I'm very pleased. Uh, next up, Kill Bill Volume One soundtrack. Uh, I love the film. I've got um, I think most of the uh, Tarantino soundtracks. Um, certainly, certainly got um, Pulp Fiction and Reservoir Dogs and Jackie Brown, and uh, now I have this. So uh, yeah, I mean he always has such amazing tunes, doesn't he? On his on his um, on his uh, uh, movies, um, so yeah, you got Nancy Sinatra, um, RZA, Isaac Hayes, uh, yeah, all sorts of people on there. Quincy Jones, yeah, good little find. Happy with that. Uh, next up, um, this is uh, Joanne as policewoman, and I don't know the slightest first thing about this uh, little EP. Um, I don't know who. I don't know who she is, I don't know uh, what it's about, what it's going to sound like, or anything. But I picked it up because it looks sort of interesting. She's sort of like a digital pixelated sort of Joan as a police woman, something, something. No idea anything about that, but I shall, uh, I shall play it and I'll report back. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Pearl Jam. Oh, I was really excited to find this. Um, so this is Yield. Um, yeah, I'm slowly again collecting up my Pearl Jam uh, collection uh, and uh, didn't have this one. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, really happy with that. Really cool little um, little sort of uh, digipack in there as well, uh, with a, a weird little, like a triangle thing for the yield sign is actually like cut out. So, um, so the the signpost is there, and then, and then it changes the the location as to where the sign is. So that's that's pretty funky. I like that. Um, yeah, brilliant. Cool little booklet that comes with it as well. So yeah, uh, that was a, a really pleasing find. Um, yeah, one of, the, one of the ones that I was really buzzed about actually to find it. A uh, bit of Joe Satriani, again, building up my collection of Joe a little bit. Didn't have The Extremist, found it for a quid. Happy days. Uh, it's got The Extremist on it, War, Crying. Uh, yeah, Summer Song, Tears of the Rain, uh, Motorcycle Driver, New Blues. Happy with that. Uh, next up, we've got, oh yeah, I was really pleased with this as well. So um, yeah, REM uh, Reveal. Uh, again, I thought I had most of, of REM's albums, but um, I was like, oh, I don't, definitely don't have that one, so now I do. REM, uh, oh, really pleased with that, and I'm knocking over the, the background lights, the mood lighting, you can't really see it when it's daytime, but in the night time videos it looks a little bit more um, spectacular, I suppose you'd call it. Right, so uh, speaking of illumination, haha, <laughs> right on cue, we've got Paul Weller illumination. Um, again, building up my Paul Weller, uh, this was an album missing. Uh, and it was nice actually because um, the lady in the charity shop um, uh, and I uh, had, a, had a long chat when I was buying this and some of this ago, oh Paul Weller, I loved him in the jam and, and she'd, um, she'd met uh, Bruce Foxton, like he, she, she had a holiday home somewhere where he, he lived and they used to kind of see him in the pub or something. So uh, we, bond, we bonded over the jam and Paul Weller and talked about music generally and uh, yeah, so shout out to you if you're watching, uh, nice lady in the charity shop. Paul Weller, um, Illumination, uh, very happy with that. Uh, next up, we've got, uh, oh yeah, Baby Shambles um, down in Albion. Um, yeah, this is this is sort of period of music that I kind of missed out on, I suppose, really. Um, I was kind of, I'd, I'd stopped buying CDs, really, by the time this came out, uh, and uh, sort of had wandered off and was doing other things and sort of came back to my love of music later on. And so things like Baby Shambles and the Libertines and all those sort of people, uh, kind of passed me by a little bit at the time. Of course, I mean, you know, Baby Shams, you, you couldn't you couldn't get away from, from Matey being all over the papers, uh, hooking up with um, Kate Moss and doing drugs all over the place, Pete Doherty, but um, nevertheless, the actual music itself, um, I, I, I didn't really catch up beyond the singles, so to find that uh, will sort of patch my knowledge there a little bit. Um, Essential Eddie Grant, happy days. Um, I've got on uh, record, on, on LP, I've got Killer on the Rampage, but apart from that, I didn't have any more Eddie Grant, so finding that in the charity shop, I thought that's an excellent thing to um, to go and get. Um, Electric Avenue and all that sort of stuff. Uh, what else have we got in here? So Massive Attack, Collected. Um, I think I've got this, uh, but I couldn't remember exactly which Massive Attack, uh, Massive Attack albums I'd got and which ones I hadn't got. 
and so I got that just to be on the safe side because it was a quid, but it might, it might be a duke. Uh, so next up, a bit of Simply Red, Stars. I mean, you know, uh, I couldn't, couldn't resist it for a 49p, this one. Uh, yeah, they've, they've had some good tracks, haven't they, over, over the, the years. So something Got Me Started um, is on this one. Um, she's Got It Bad. Um, yeah, all that stuff. But yeah, uh, bit of bit of Mick Hucknall for 49 English pence. And actually it was less than that because that was the charity shop where if you buy three, you get the third one free. So like I bought a bunch. So that was 33p effectively uh, this one uh, you know it's it's not my thing necessarily uh, this sort of musical stuff but um, there were some good songs on Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat and I remember it being everywhere when it came out and getting a bit of a nostalgia by um, so yeah you know what can you say 49p for the um, uh, for the soundtrack to the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat uh, make of that what you will. Right, so next up we've got the best of Chess Rhythm and Blues Volume 2. I've got that because I bought I bought Volume 1 the other day, um, possibly even in the same charity shop, but this hadn't been put out yet, so I thought, oh cool, that's that's Volume 2 to go with Volume 1. Uh, so, yeah, uh, all sorts of people on there that um, I haven't heard of, frankly. Uh, most of, well, Etta James I've heard of, but um, I don't know Mitty Collier or The Radiance or um, Little Milton, or um, Fontella Bass, or Ramsey Lewis Trio. Uh, so I'm going to delve into that and see what they're all about. Um, yeah, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people sort of frantically typing in the comments um, that I'm an idiot, and I should know all of that, but you can only know what you know. Uh, best of Bonnie Ray. I got a couple of Bonnie Rays. If you saw the CD um, haul one I did last week, uh, then you will know that I found a couple of... Uh, Bonnie Bonnie Ray CDs, including a box set with a duet with BB King on it, um, which is very good. Uh, and I found the best of in there as well, uh, possibly even donated by the same person. Uh, this is another one that I bought because I didn't know anything about it. Um, Cut Your Noose by Vendetta Red. Um, I didn't know anything about Vendetta Red, uh, but I thought the packaging looked interesting and uh, it was quite an interesting um, name to it, I thought. And uh, yeah, it's a weird scissors on the thing you're supposed to cut your noose with a uh, little EP um, in an interesting little sort of uh, cardboard sort of digi pack just sort of looking innocuous but kind of interesting and tantalizing at the same time with sort of uh, looks like sort of almost like World War Two era planes on it is that even a I don't know it could even be a Spitfire couldn't it on the back and the front ones are perhaps bombers or something I don't know very much about planes let me know in the comments but it looks interesting I picked it up it was a pound rude not to uh, next up, we've got Wet Wet Wet, uh, picture this, um, yeah, Marty Pello and the gang doing their thing, uh, this one's 1995, um, I think I remember when this came out actually, there was some, uh, what were the singles off this, um, can't actually remember now, um, uh, After the Love Goes, maybe it was that, possibly, uh, Don't Wanna Forgive Me Now, uh, She Might Never Know, yeah, uh, it's a quid, <laughs> bit of Wet Wet Wet. Uh, right, next up we've got um, the Heart of Chicago. Um, again, I think I've got this, but I don't think my copy is in very good condition. So uh, I picked this one up because it looked almost minty, uh, fresh. And so uh, that was 49p or 33p when you uh, factor in the three for two for thinking me jobby. Uh, the Divine Comedy, comedy uh, Regeneration. Uh, again, uh, got a few Divine Comedy albums or a couple of, couple of albums, I think, maybe, but I didn't have that one. Uh, picked it up, 49p or 33 with the discount. Um, next up, uh, Digging Deep, another Bonnie Ray uh, album, which uh, is really pleasing. And uh, yeah, I'm starting to sort of actually get a, a fairly uh, decent little Bonnie Ray uh, collection. Nice little booklet with um, all of the uh, words in it and also some nice photos in there of uh, Bonnie performing. Uh, so uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe this is a live album. I don't. Know, maybe this is. I don't know. It looks like they're in a the studio. Um, I'll discover. But anyway, yeah, really cool to get that. Um, yeah, looking forward to really sort of exploring Bonnie Ray. Now I've got a bit more of it. Uh, another another Chicago greatest hits. Um, couldn't resist it. It was forty nine p. Uh, what can you say? Um, I mean, it's just got everything on there. I mean, I think they've probably got most of the same tracks on there. If, uh, if you leave me now, hard to say I'm sorry. Um, I don't want to live without your love. Uh, hard habit to break, etc., uh, etc. Et Love me tomorrow. Long comes a woman. Stay the night. Uh, I'm a man. Um, yeah. So, uh, what can you say? Uh, it's delightful to have some more, and it'll hopefully, be one or two tracks that I didn't have. Right. So, uh, on Vogue, Funky Divas. 
so this one came out in 1992. Uh, so yeah, a while ago now, 31 years ago. Bit of on vogue. Um, yeah, happy with that. Uh, 49p. Uh, next up we've got, um, okay, so this is celebrating the songs of Elton John and Bernie Taupin, but it's got um, all sorts of interesting people doing it. So um, Eric Clapton does Border Song, Kate Bush does Rocket Man, uh, Sting does Come Down in Time, The Who do Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting, The Beach Boys do Crocodile Rock. We've got Wilson Phillips, Joe Cocker, John Bon Jovi, Tina Turner, Daryl Hall and Oates, um, Rod Stewart, uh, Aletta Adams, Bruce Hornsby, Sinead O'Connor, Phil Collins and George Michael all doing their own renditions of uh, Bernie Taupin songs uh, made famous by uh, Mr Elton John. Uh, so happy to find that. Uh, should be interesting. Uh, next up I found No Regrets, the best of Scott Walker. Um, for those of you that saw the other day the vinyl haul video that I made um, and I actually found a little Scott Walker and the Walker Brothers uh, EP. Uh, in a charity shop recently and um, I said in that one it still stands true because I haven't had a chance to get around to listening to that yet that I didn't really know much about the Scott, uh, the, the Scott Walker and the Walker Brothers um, so when I found the best of um, to go with that EP and it was a pound I thought well that's a good that's a good um, entry point into into um, the Walker Brothers um, so I found that uh, next time we got Placebo again they, they had some really good tracks in the 90s this one's a bit later this is um, 2006 uh, but yeah they had some really really good songs really really interesting sounding band vocalist had a really sort of unique voice didn't they um, so I thought I'd pick that up and, and give it a whirl see what you know they were like 10 years after I was sort of first into them um, next up it's not not really music well it's not music at all. I bought a DVD of The Invention of Lying because we were talking about it in the office the other day and um, I found it in the charity shop. I thought, oh well, I might as well buy that for a quid and listen to it. Um, next up, we have some records. Um, so it's a mixture of um, LPs and some uh, seven-inch singles, EPs sort of things. Um, not not a massively inspirational haul, but there was some good stuff in there and they were a pound or a pound fifty each. So um, Gilbert O'Sullivan's Back to Front for one pound fifty. I thought, can't really leave that in there. Um, that's, that's quite a good album, actually. I like that one, so I was very pleased to find that. Um, and uh, Neil Diamond, um, Beautiful Noise, uh, which was uh, the Princess Sum of a Pound. Happy to find that in there. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, I, I have to be in the mood for Neil Diamond, but when I am, I've got that to put on, and uh, I'm very pleased about it. Um, John Denver, again, uh, one of those artists that I haven't really explored too much, but I actually found um, li Live in London, um, and I also found uh, Seasons of the Heart, uh, I think this one's called, uh, Seasons of the Heart, uh, there we are, and uh, I think I found another one in there which we'll come to in a minute, they've got jumbled up a little bit, uh, but next up we come to uh, some uh, more uh, seven inch singles, I went back to that place where I got that big stack of like 22, 23 for 50p each, and I did find one or two more, and do you remember I, I found like three ELO singles in there, um, and, um, and I found another one, <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, Zanadu with um, Olivia Newton-John uh, on one side and uh, uh, Zanadu on the other, uh, so yeah, uh, interesting, interesting mix of, uh, of people involved in that, but yeah, a bit of, uh, bit of Jeff Lynne and a bit of Olivia Newton-John, so yeah, uh, what can you say, 50p. Can't leave that behind. Right, so uh, this one, the tour, uh, this is uh, People Are Still Having Sex. Um, I, I can't remember if I remember this this track or not, but I picked it up because it was 50p. I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll see if I remember it just by playing it. It's probably the simplest way for 50p. Um, and then um, I found the other day, as you know, if you'll know if you saw the video, uh, Susie Quattro, Can the Can. Um, and I found this one as well now. So I've got In the Morning and uh, Devil Gate Drive. Uh, again in in that same pile of records so i'm going to go back every, every time i clear enough space for the next lot i'm going to go up and see see what else i find in that uh in that bit um so yeah really happy with that uh next up trini lopez in london i uh, don't know much about trini lopez but um i sort of um thought i'd give that a whirl uh for 50p uh, why not and i've knocked over the lights again uh next up we've got this one doesn't have a cover on it but it's chris Rea, and uh, i quite like a bit of chris Rea. Um, so uh, this is Magnet, um, and I'll see if I can find a cover for it, but the, the actual record seems to be in reasonable condition, uh, but yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's quite cool to have. Um, I do like a bit of Chris Rear. 
and to find that, I say it was 50p. I wouldn't have paid any more for it without the, you know, out of sleeve, but hell, the music's there and it seems to be in good nick. Uh, so that's good. Uh, right, so uh, this one we've got the Jack Mix 2 featuring Jack Your Body, Respectable, Showing Out, Male Stripper, um, Axel F, Jack in an Underwater by Mirage. Uh, so yeah, I don't know too much about this to be honest either, but um, I thought it might be sort of, um, I don't know, maybe sort of 80s or 90s house music or something. And uh, when I'm in the mood to listen to that, I shall put it on and discover what it's all about. Um, <laughs> this this one I don't know anything about either. Full Force. I kind of remember the name Full Force, but Alice, I want you just for me. Anybody remember that record? I I, I can't remember if I do or not, but um, I thought like that's a, that's a that's an ambitious set of of outfits and and, and hairstyles on 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 these uh, on these gentlemen here. So I thought, well, you know, uh, I, I, they've gone all that effort. I mean, I, I can't leave that on the shelf, can I? Really. Um, so it was fifty p, and I picked it up. Uh, next up, we've got a bit of Paul Young. Uh, happy to find that. Um, uh, Paul Young and the Royal Family album. Uh, so, yeah, really pleased with that. Uh, to uh, you know, find that for 50p. Um, really pleasing, I thought. Um, so, yeah, uh, bit, of a, bit of a score there. Uh, and then um, another random sort of 80s one, which uh, this is like a 12 inch single um, Shook Up by Invisible Girl. So. Uh, yeah, again, I don't know what that's going to be like or not, but, you know, it's sort of 50p, um, you know, you sort of get what you can. And then um, because it was like three for two um, on the records as well as the, um, the, the CDs in that one, and I, I'd come up one short, so I said, do you want to go and grab something else? And then I, I, found, I found Rock and Roll with Jerry Lee Lewis and um, uh, Fats Domino and Chuck Berry on it. Uh, so I thought, well, that's all right, isn't it? And so Jerry Lee Lewis contributes um, Great Balls of Fire and Good Golly Miss Molly. Then Chuck Berry comes along with rock and roll music, sweet little rock and roller, sweet 16, roll over Beethoven and check me out. And then uh, Fats Domino brings up the B-side with Blueberry Hill, Please Don't Leave Me, Jambalaya on the bio, and Ain't That a Shame. So some real, real classics, real classics on there. And um, yeah, it was it was sort of thrown in, into the into the pot as well. So that is my CD collection uh, and vinyl collection and a single DVD uh, that I've added to my collection for today. Super happy with that. Been a bit of a long one this because there was a ton to get through so appreciate you sticking around and if you did and you'd like to hear more about music and sort of find inspiration of things to watch please consider subscribing and leave comments down in uh, below about what you have been finding out there in the wild recently. It's always cool to see what other people are finding. I love reading those comments because then that gives me inspiration about what to go and hunt for next. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.